Pittsburgh up there. Uh, two teams um, I don't buy, the Jaguars and the Packers. Uh, Odd Shark uh, released these. Folks, I'm not sure Green Bay is a playoff team, and I don't think they're winning their division. I think Vegas made a mistake here. Green Bay has a buy. Starting October 28th, which is, you know, 10 days from now, 11 days from now, the Green Bay Packers go to the L.A. Rams, to the New England Patriots, home for Miami, to Seattle, that's playing well, to Minnesota. They could go 1-4, and 0-5 oh and in those games. By the way, Green Bay has gotten a tremendous break this year. They're 3-2-1, and one, but their schedule has been one of the most fortunate in the league. So they open up with Mitch Trubisky in his first game with Matt Nagy, the offensive coordinator, at home, and Khalil Mack, for the record, was on a snap count. Then they get Minnesota Kirk Cousins at home. Then they get a rookie quarterback, Buffalo, at home. And then they just got San Francisco without Jimmy Garoppolo at home. So defensively, they're seventh in the NFL. Those stats are wildly, wildly skewed. Rookie quarterback, no Jimmy Garoppolo, Trubisky's first game. Folks, Minnesota's defensive stats aren't as good, but they had to face the L.A. Rams on a short week. Philadelphia, they faced really, really good offenses. Uh, if you look at the playoff picture right now in the NFC, um, there are, let's see, one, two, three, four. There's 16 NFC teams. I, and there's six playoff spots. I think there's about 10 teams, and the Packers are in the running. There's 10 teams in the NFC that, to me, still have a shot at the playoffs. Now, all of them mathematically do, but the Giants, the Lions, uh, the Bucks, uh, San Francisco, and Arizona are not playoff teams. It's Rams, Saints, Redskins, Bears, Panthers, Packers, Vikings, Eagles, Seahawks, Cowboys. You start looking around, you look at personnel, and you look at schedule – Green Bay does not stack up. Green Bay's schedule starting October 28th is the league's hardest for a month and a half. They've been given an absolute break. Rookie quarterback, C.J. Beathard, Trubisky with Matt Nagy. Their schedule is brutal. And they haven't won a home game, uh, a road game at all this year anyway. So good teams travel well. Kansas City went on the road. They still look good. The Baltimore home and away looks like a good team. Uh, Green Bay didn't look very good away from Lambeau Field. And they don't look great at Lambeau Field. So I think Vegas made uh, the rare mistake there. Also, I want to throw this out at you. There is a rumor regarding LeBron James. Here is, according to uh, the ringer, Kevin O'Connor, who's excellent. According to Kevin O'Connor at the ringer, that's Bill Simmons' project. There are, quote, whispers around the NBA that Jimmy Butler and Kawhi Leonard don't want a team with LeBron. Okay. Jimmy Butler's a little bit of a head case. Paul George has never hit a big shot in his career. And Kawhi Leonard, talented but weird. Let me make two points here. Number one, Anthony Davis, better than all those players, has signed with Clutch Sports. That's LeBron's number one target. Number two, if Brandon Ingram, the best current Laker before LeBron, Pops again this year, and I think he will. He came into the NBA as a skinny kid with one year of college, and he averages 23 a game. Guess what, folks? They don't need Jimmy Butler, Paul George, and Kawhi Leonard. Give this time. Give it time. You just, if Brandon Ingram, LeBron's the best player in the world, if Brandon Ingram is... What my sources and what I saw in preseason will become, which is a 23-point-a-game guy, LeBron's got his running made it forward. You're not going to need another one. They're fine at forward. LeBron's a forward. Ingram's a forward. Kuzma's a forward. They're good at forward. They don't need Paul. They don't need Butler. They don't need Kawhi Leonard. <laughs> they don't need that laugh in the locker room. It's very unsettling. Anthony Davis is their number one target. Uh, Joel Klatt's around the corner. I love Dollar Shave Club. By the way, I'm moving today. So I had to pack up last night all my shaving stuff, my pomade, a body wash in my little box. Because I'm moving today right around the corner, by the way. I'm moving right around the corner. 
Dollar Shave Club wants to own the bathroom. And they got their razors, and they've had their razors for a long time. But now they've got toothpaste, toothbrushes, shave butter, executive razors, 